Hey folks, Ola here, coming at you from Central Illinois, Morton to be specific. Um, came up here, kind of a, an unplanned trip. Had to come up here and take care of some things for my mom, so why not do a little fishing while I'm here? Um, I'll show the fishing footage after this, and I don't have a lot. Unfortunately, I caught a tank, but I didn't bring any GoPros or anything with me. But I did get the release on on footage and uh, got a picture or two so but while I was here I invested in a travel rod something I've been wanting for a long time but really didn't have a need to go buy it well I went ahead and bought it since I was here and doing some serious fishing the little lake I fish in is where my sister lives my younger sister and there's some double digits in there she's seen them I've seen videos of it perusing the shoreline right right behind where she lives so went and threw a jackhammer for a little while and lo and behold got a whopper but uh, let me show you the rod and reel now it's a budget setup so keep that in mind the assortment was limited so keep that in mind and I didn't want to like pay $250 for a reel and another 200 for a rod so I stuck to $99 for each piece budget so let me show you what I got for $200. First off, the reel it is the Bass Pro Pro Qualifier 2 bait caster. It is the PQC10HA model. And honestly, guys, when I held this up to the Lou's speed spool, it looks just like it. I mean, the shape, the features, pretty identical to the Lou's. And it is super, super smooth. I had to get the right hand retrieved because of my shoulder still bothering me. So it's feeling better because of the steroids, but uh, we'll see how it feels when I'm medications out of my system. So yeah, the PQC-10HA, magnetic brakes. It has, uh, I think it's six brakes in there. I have two set. And then it also has the external brake control, which I have that kind of high. Actually, that's on eight. I've spooled it up. Actually, Bass Pro spooled it up with some 15-pound Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed. It's smooth. It casts a mile. You know, the only questionable thing on it is durability, and, you know, time will tell. But it looks just like the speed spool, just like the lose. So, very happy with that. It came with just a box. And instructions for maintenance, lubing, lubing and greasing, oiling and greasing. So some of the specs on this, seven bearings, power lock, insta, anti-reverse. It's got the dual braking system. It's an aluminum spool. It's a one-piece aluminum frame. Titanium coated line guide. That's about it. I don't know what the capacity, let's see, the braid capacity. Oh, yeah. It can hold a lot. I got some mono backing on there. Just because I did 150 yards, and I think it's still had room, so he put a backing on it. Uh, max drag is 10 pounds. The weight is 7.2 ounces. Gear ratio is 6.8 to 1. So it's middle of the road. It's not the slowest, not the fastest. Perfect for the road. And then, as far as my rod choice, you have to excuse the birds out here. I'm out in the back patio under the deck. So, this is a three-piece travel rod. This tube container, it's pretty hard, came with it. It breaks down to under 36 inches, probably 30 inches. And it also has a little sleeve thingy. Yeah, this uh, combo, I'm... I'm pretty satisfied with it. It hold, it hold in the four pound fish like nothing. No problemo. Okay, let me read you a little bit of the specs on this. This is also, this is also Bass Pro's version, their rod. It is the Pro Qualifier 2. I think that's the same series as the reel is. It is seven foot even, medium heavy fast. And it is graphite. This is like a, it's not, it's foam, but it's not soft. It's a hard, super light, super, super light. It's 
first thing my sister said was, wow, that's light. So, like I said, it's three pieces. Three pieces. Stores away easily. It'll store in my truck. I might use this on the drive home back to Florida. We passed a lot of nice looking little water holes along the way. And I kept thinking, man, I wish I had a rod and reel. I don't have any tackle, but I'll grab a little bit of my sister's tackle before we leave. There we go. Seven feet. Ultra lightweight. Medium heavy fast. Let you look at it here. Get the rod assembled. Put the reel on it. So the whole combo is probably less than a pound, which is good for my ailing shoulders. There we go. Like I said, time will tell on the durability of this reel, but out of the box, it's like butter. Smooth as silk. You got your lure, your hook keeper up here up front. This is the little lure that I caught the 4.27 pounder on. Jackhammer, half ounce. I don't remember the color though. It's like a clear water shad or something like that. Gosh, all my skirts sticking to my to my uh, trailer there. And for a trailer, I use the uh, razor shad, Z-Man razor shad in green pumpkin. Very first cast, as soon as I bought it and put it together and put this lure on it, poof, got a fish. Third cast, got the 4.27 pounder. So yeah, gotta love the jackhammers, guys. Good stuff. So that is about all I have. I got a couple of releases from the fish I've caught over the last fish two or three times. Three times. Caught a lot of bluegill and smaller bass and then just the one big bass, but it's been fun. And, oh, and that tank of a bass I caught had blood all over the tail. You'll see it in the picture if I zoom in. So that thing was spawning. It was probably laid over on its side laying eggs because the blood is way up at the base. But it's raw so i'll point that out in the picture yeah a couple more days here and then heading back to florida where i hope to i'm going to try to get in my kayak because i got the kbf tournament i'm enrolled in this month so i have some help i'm going to launch at one of my local lakes and just try to get a limit fishing left-handed i will put links down in the description for uh, the rod the reel and the lure so y'all can check it out Oh, and one other thing, huge shout out to Shelby and Kelly for hanging with us yesterday and going to see the Grandini. We can't wait for y'all to come down to Florida and take a much needed vacation. So with that being said, how about we roll today's road trip fishing footage. First fish of the day. Oh, look how healthy, just healthy. First fish of the day. First cast too, guys. Second one today. This one's, look at the gut. Look at that belly, guys. Holy smokes. This is about two pounds because of the big fat gut. See you, baby. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You can just do a picture. We'll get the gist of it. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful green bass. You got a scale, right? Yep. You got it near the end, baby. 414, 427. Four and a quarter? Yep, good guess. There we go guys, four pounds, 0.27, four and a quarter. Look at that bass. There he goes, like nothing happened. Mm -hmm.